basically the point of this video is to, I'm, I'm going to try out this beer here. It's, uh, it's locally made. And I'll give you a shot of it. So, it's Penny Ale. It's a uh, half gallon. And it's from Hartford, Connecticut. And uh, it's a really nice bottle. I like the bottle. Um, there's a dollar fifty deposit on the bottle, which makes sense because if it was like ten cents, I, I'd imagine people would keep it. But uh, I'm basically gonna try to drink the whole thing here, and uh, we're gonna see how this goes. They don't list alcohol percentage, and that's got me a little nervous because I'm pretty sure it's more than uh, you know, like your average five percent beer. Um, but uh, you know. Mystery is always a good thing. All right, just, uh, you know, I'm a few sips into this uh, half gallon of Penny Ale, locally brewed. Uh, I don't think I really, uh, I've, I've moved a little bit. I've walked around this little, little tiny pond here with my, my, my cat. There's the cat again. Okay, there he is. And uh, he's the designated driver if things go awry. But the sun is starting to set. Unfortunately, the, the, these short days uh, really depressed the hell out of me. This is probably why I'm doing this. I'm, um, sun sets around 4.30. And you get about a, you know 20 minutes of twilight after that. These really short days, uh, I've never liked. I've always hated them. You know, if, if, if I could do it my way, I would own a house in the Southern Hemisphere and just, you know, flip back and forth six months. That would be my ideal way to uh, live on this planet. The other thing I got going against me is, uh, yeah, the sun is continuing to uh, drop and I, I, I don't really want to be, be out here uh, in the pitch black with a cat. Uh, drunk near a pond. Um, it's just, that's just not a scenario that I'm really, really looking for. He's not happy being indoors all the time, so I have to take him out. He's, he, I, can't, I can't let him roam around because uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of problems associated uh, with doing that with a cat like this. First of all, he would, he would wander. He would just keep exploring and I never see him again. And he's also really not afraid of uh, things that he should be afraid of, like uh, you know, raccoons, foxes, coyotes. And in fact, he does. He stalks them. Skunks. Skunk can't hurt him, but they can make life difficult for me. Um, so yeah, he would. He would either uh, get killed or. Uh, or lost, or uh, hit by a car. He's definitely not car savvy. I heard he's up there. He's just climbing a tree. Yeah, let's see if we get a zoom there on that. And, uh, terrible lighting. That's okay. And there you go. He's gonna jump. And, oh, th there's the half gallon. Half gallons aren't really that much. They, they look big, but again, we don't really know what the alcohol content of this stuff is. So, so the, you know, the uh, success of this video is really all dependent on the alcohol content of this penny ale. And that's still to be determined. I mispronounced determined. That's a good sign. It's definitely sipping beer. It's something to enjoy. It's it, it's not something to just pound so you can beat sunset and crank out a stupid YouTube video. Speaking of stupid YouTube videos, um, I've noticed that uh, you know you it's it's not that YouTube is terrible. It, it it's it's a reflection of how horrible the consciousness of humanity is, at least now, and has been for the last 5,000 years of recorded history. And this just brings me back to the same conclusion that I keep coming to. Humanity is not, we're not, we're not going to smoothly transist. The whole fucking 
system's going to have to collapse because the sheep aren't going to wake up in time. You know, I always thought that, you know, it would be nice if we could do this smoothly so that, you know, millions, billions of people don't have to die. We, you know, potential, uh, you know, World War III, uh, you know, starving people, all this stuff. I was trying to avert, and and it's blatantly clear to me we ain't gonna avert it. it it's it's you know we we haven't learned collectively, and it's it's gonna happen um, in a very painful way. Now it doesn't mean that I'm I'm a pessimist. It, it just means it's it's just it's gonna fucking hurt. That's all. Uh, and and yeah, more people than I was hoping for are are gonna have to die. And you know what? After talking to so many stupid sheeple, maybe they deserve to die. I don't mean to sound like a New World Order elitist, but come on. You try to wake people up and <clears throat> and you realize that that's futile. I, 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 I know it's wrong to try to wake people up. I know it because I've tried it. And it's kind of like hammering a, a nail into your forehead. <clears throat> yes, I am not out in the deep wilderness where I would normally like to be, but um, in fact, like, you know, just like right over there by this this local pond I just take him to. The locks. Uh, I think it's a FEMA camp. Um, uh, you can't really see, but anyway. Yeah, it's, it's a FEMA camp. Um, the reason why I think it's a FEMA camp is because they have really good offers on experimental anthrax vaccines, which I've taken them up on. Um, I still don't have anthrax yet, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, bad news. Um, a cop car has pulled up right next to my car. Um, and I don't know if I would actually pass a breathalyzer at this point so I'm just gonna have to kind of lay low let me see if we can get a shot of the cruiser next to my vehicle we're not gonna really see it but I'll give it a shot somewhere over there um, let me see. Uh, yeah I don't think that's gonna show uh, let me get this back um, how do we do this wide thank you Okay, so anyway, I'm on the other side of the pond. Um, I'm probably intoxicated. And I really, really gonna have to uh, play this out right. If he starts sur um, walking the circumference of the pond, looking for the uh, owner of the vehicle, which is me, uh, that he's checking out right now, uh, we could have problems. Okay, thankfully, he's one of those fat comps. I don't think he's got enough energy to try to walk around a pond, especially as we're approaching uh, sunset, so. All I gotta do is uh, ride this one out. Whew, that was a close call. Okay, this is a plastic bag. Uh, when it, Whenever I come across a plastic bag out in the woods, the first thing I assume that it is, uh, it's pot. And we're gonna check. Usually it just turns out to be, uh, you know, ham and cheese residue. But, but you know, it's worth a shot because I've probably checked, I don't know, a couple thousand bags and exactly 0% have turned out to be pot. But, you know, you never know. You just, you just never know. So we're gonna check right now. There we go. All right. Let's see, we're gonna open up this bag. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's see. Broken. It's ripped. And uh, it smells like um, it smells like moldy Wonder Bread. Okay, that fat cop is back. I think he's gonna try to wait by my car as uh, sunset approaches and smoke me out. I don't know how this is gonna play out.
Okay, my current my current game plan is to uh, take my spotted wildcat off the leash and let him run by the cop. And the cop will put as a diversionary tactic. And then I can maybe get to my car. Um, at this point, I'm thinking of just going back to bitching about the New World Order. Which, um, to follow up on my last point, the New World Order is not going to succeed. It's, it's totally going to fail. There's too many guns. We have too many guns. We, we can totally outgun them. Um, and not all of us have to be awake to beat them. We don't even need that. All we need is 3%. three per, three percent. That's it. And I think, I think we've, we've got 3% to uh, defeat these motherfucking evil assholes. Um, and we got beer. We got beer. We got guns. We got ammo. And we got beer. Okay, update. The fat cop waiting by my car um, is sitting in his cruiser and he appears to be eating uh, a burrito. I'll check back later. Okay, I'm on the other side of the pond laying low waiting for this fat fuck taco eating cop to f get away from my car. Um, but I've noticed that there is a approximately 90 foot inflatable Santa. No, I'm not shitting you. I'm going to check this out. Where is that fucking thing? Oh, there he is. Yes. That thing. Look at that thing. Yes. I don't understand the obsession with going out and buying expensive, inflatable, holiday-orientated pieces of Chinese crap and setting them up on your lawn. Um, if that's not a sign of the end times, I don't know what is. <coughs> no, we're waiting for that fat cop to leave so we can go home and I can drive intoxicated and get back, take us back to where we live. We're still working on it. Okay, that fat fuck burrito eating cop has somehow mustered up enough energy to <sighs> circumnavigate the pond. And I really gotta lay low. This is my hangout right now. It's a big tube. the cat over there and the beer I'm gonna have to chill in this fucking thing for now keep you posted okay I'm at a tunnel right now that's my cat and the Sun is about to set and there's the fat fucking burrito eating cop circumnavigating the pond right now. Trying to find potentially inebriated people who need to go home. And I regret that I did this. I think, I think the beer was delicious. I enjoyed the company of my cat. But hiding out in a fucking tunnel well, a fat fucking burrito eating cop looks for me because I'm drunk and he's trying to catch me really sucks and I brought this upon myself I'm an asshole I'm I'm never gonna do this again I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to just bitching about how evil the new world order is and uh, if I get out of this thing I'm I've learned my lesson I've learned my lesson. <sighs> Fuck me up the ass.